Hi, my name is Yuvraj and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about breadcrumbs and specifically, how can you implement the breadcrumbs schema on your website using Schema Pro. So let's first talk about breadcrumbs in general. What are breadcrumbs? Well, when someone talks about breadcrumbs and WordPress, the first thought that comes to mind is that breadcrumbs that appear on the web page when somebody is actually accessing a blog post in a theme, similar to what you can see on our blog as well. But when we talk in the context of schema, then the breadcrumbs we are referring to are breadcrumbs in the search results, something like this. As you can see, you have the URL right here, but you have the breadcrumbs of the URL in the search results. And this is what we're going to talk about with schema here. Before we talk about the actual settings of breadcrumbs inside Schema Pro, let's first talk about the advantages of having breadcrumbs in the search results. You as a user might be thinking, why would I need breadcrumbs in the search results? Well, there's a couple of advantages. Let me tell you about them. The first advantage is that it actually helps Google understand the hierarchy of your pages and it just helps Google index the content better on your website. The second and arguably the more important advantage, in my opinion, would be that it provides a relevancy signal to the end user when they are searching for a link to click in the search results. Let me give you a practical example. Let me switch tabs here for a second. Let's imagine I'm looking to know more about Roger Deakins, or I'm trying to see what kind of movies he's made or some of the best movies he's worked on. He's a very famous cinematographer. So I search for Roger Deakins in Google. And this, these are the pages I can come up with. The first page, obviously I know what Wikipedia is, but the breadcrumbs show me it's wiki. So I'm not really interested because I'm actually looking for the movies he's worked on. And here again, the IMDb says name. I'm not really sure by looking at the title and the breadcrumbs, if this will actually contain the list of movies he's worked on. If I scroll down, this is a blog post. I'm not really sure. If I come down here, 16 best Roger Deakins movies. Well, this seems interesting. And the blog also, uh, the breadcrumb says that it talks about Roger Deakins movies. So I'm very tempted to click here, but let me drive the point across. Let me scroll down below and to show you what other results or what other kinds of breadcrumbs we see in the search results. So we see uh, the official website. Again, we see this is a kind of a news article and this just shows that, okay, this was published at least this year. So I'm going to get a more uh, up-to-date information about if I were learning or trying to learn about his filmmaking and lighting techniques. Going back and scrolling with okay. So this seems interesting. I can see the title and also the breadcrumbs immediately says best Roger Deakins films. So I'm actually very tempted to click on this and I'm very sure that I'm going to see what the title and the breadcrumbs actually represent. So this is the kind of advantage you'd be looking for. And the benefit of having the breadcrumbs in the search results is that the relevancy for the user is very important when they decide which link to click, as you just saw me doing. And it helps improve the click through rate of your website. And also it will help reduce the bounce rate of your website because the user will actually see what they're actually going to get on your website when they land there. And as we know, the CTR and less bounce rate is, are very important and they're very helpful in getting good rankings in the search results. So that is the advantage of breadcrumbs. So let's get back to the WordPress settings and let's explore the settings of actually Schema Pro and how breadcrumbs are implemented inside Schema Pro. Let me switch tabs again. All right. So as usual, because the breadcrumbs are implemented inside Schema Pro, we'll head to settings schema pro and in the settings you will find a dedicated tab just for breadcrumbs and you can actually go here and check out the settings as you can see i have actually currently disabled the breadcrumbs but let before i enable them i also like to show you if you are in the setup wizard or if you are installing schema for the first time and using the setup wizard to configure you'll also find the breadcrumb schema or the option to enable the breadcrumb schema inside the setup wizard so let me show you where it appears in a second. I'll go to the other schemas tab. And here it is. If I enable it here and just click the next button, the settings should be saved. So just to show you that you can actually enable them from inside or outside the setup wizard and it works just the same way. And as you can see, probably, yes, the breadcrumbs was actually installed or activated through the setup wizard. So it works the uh, same way, I would say. 
So let me disable the breadcrumbs once again because I'm going to tell you or show you how the breadcrumbs actually look like when we test our pages in the Google Rich Snippets or the Google Rich Snippets testing tool. That's a hard word to say. So I'll disable the settings. So breadcrumbs are now disabled on the website. So let's head to the one of our posts or check one of our posts and uh, check if what kind of schema it fits. So I'm going to just copy the link to this and go to the rich snippet testing tool, enter the URL here, and let's see what Google comes up with. All right, uh, so Google has actually come up with the results, and as you can see, you don't see any of the breadcrumb schema on the page, just a site link search box, which we have actually covered in the setup wizard. So if you want to know more about what this is, you have to refer to that video. So the point is no breadcrumb schema on any of the page or the page that you actually tested. So now let's head back to the WordPress admin area and I'll enable the breadcrumb schema and then we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm inside WordPress. I'm gonna enable the settings. I'm gonna save my changes and I'm gonna just refresh it. All right, uh, seems like Google has completed testing the page and as you can see, the breadcrumb schema does now show up on the page. So let's explore the breadcrumbs options or the breadcrumb results that actually Google has fetched. So you don't need to understand all of this. I'm just showing this for a reason. Specifically pay attention to the position uh, field. Uh, as you can see, you have now two positions, position one, which is the base URL of your website. And this position two is actually just the URL of the page that you actually referred. If you remember the example, then there are a lot of pages which had the direct URL uh, just after the homepage and some had the category or a taxonomy inside or between the page and the homepage. And I'm gonna show you how to actually configure them idly. So let's head back to WordPress. All right, I'm inside my WordPress admin area. And as you can see, we do have the option of selecting a taxonomy in between the home page and the landing page URL. And currently it was set to none. That is why we had just the two uh, position types. So let me actually show you what the other options are. You have the option of choosing category, tag, or format. If you choose a different type of format in WordPress, the options that are available. So let's switch to category and let's see what happens. I'm gonna save the settings once again. And now I'll head to the schema testing tool once again. Okay, I'm here. Let me just refresh this page. Quick note, I'm simply refreshing the page because I have caching disabled on my website. And if you do this on your website or you test these things on your website, make sure either caching is disabled or you're purging the cache between each of the tests. So let's open up the breadcrumb schema once again and scroll to the bottom. And as we can see, you have the position one, position two, which is the actual category trending, if you notice, and the three, which is the actual URL. So now you have the three uh, level hierarchy of uh, the breadcrumb schema, which will appear in the search results. Let's go back to WordPress and discuss a couple of other options inside the breadcrumb schema. All right, I'm back in the WordPress admin area and the other options that I want to talk about were the breadcrumbs for custom post types. As you probably know that you can have custom post types depending on the kind of plugins you have, or you can even create them for your own website. Just for example, Elementor creates its own custom post type if you create a template with it. And WooCommerce, uh, if you're selling products, also creates a custom post type called products. So what I'm going to do is go to the plugins menu inside my website. And you'll see Elementor and WooCommerce actually installed them, but I actually deactivated them just for this example. So I'll activate those and let's see what happens to the breadcrumb schema option. All right, uh, both the plugins are activated. So let's head back into the settings. Breadcrumbs. And as you can see, Schema Pro immediately detected the custom post type for both Elementor and for WooCommerce. And you have the same settings available for both the options as well. You can actually select the taxonomy that you like that you want to insert in between the homepage and the landing page URL. And the setting will be applied immediately if you change your settings. And you can always test uh, the results using the Google Rich Snippet testing tool as I demonstrated in some previous examples. And that's that's it guys. That is Those are the complete settings that you needed to know about in the breadcrumbs options inside Schema Pro. And I hope everything I explained was clear to you. 
And if you have any doubts, leave them in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you actually have issues using the Schema Pro plugin or breadcrumbs in general, you can leave a support ticket on our website. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then just make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video and also subscribe to Brainstorm Forces YouTube channel because we come up with helpful content just like this one on a regular basis and you don't want to miss the next one. Make sure to click the bell icon to receive notifications about future videos as well. Once again, my name is Yuvraj and you're watching Brainstorm Forces YouTube channel. I hope to see you in the next one.